All right, I've got it all wired up. Um, so that's what the, uh, all the wiring looks like. I put treble bleeds on both volume pots and uh, just upon in my initial testing through an amp, um, that made a big difference in, uh, in these Epiphone pickups, in my opinion, uh, just in, in how they perform as you, you adjust the dials. Um, I'm real impressed with how it sounds. Uh, I've got it all back together. Let me just zoom back out here. So that, I just wanted to get a good shot of the control cavity. Uh, I got it all strung up. Uh, it looks good. This is, uh, this guitar is probably about 35 years old is my best guess. I'm guessing it's probably, you know, mid-70s or so. Uh, it's plywood. Uh, but, you know, when I plugged it in, honestly, it didn't make a, a hill of beans a difference. It sounds fantastic. It, you know, and one thing was interesting. If you look at the bridge, and let me zoom in on that. Um, if you look at the bridge, it's actually a little further back than you would see on most Les Pauls. Uh, and I was a little concerned about it, that because when I measured it, it was actually... Um, it was probably a good quarter inch further back than, than what I thought sh it should have been. Um, but when I set the in check the intonation, um, believe it or not, it was spot on. Um, couldn't believe it. I thought for sure I was going to have to, you know, relocate this bridge on, on this particular guitar. And it just, you know, just intonated just fine when I checked it I couldn't believe it anyway that is the Memphis Les Paul copy and I will the next episode will actually feature this uh, running through my Marshall class 5 but I'm not gonna be able to do that uh, today probably tomorrow or the next day